sheriff's department was called, as far as animal control goes, they know what, they say we're not always the best to, you know, best equipped to handle aggressive dogs. We want your guys' help. I'm just gonna hang back and follow T and Mariah's lead. Whatever they ask me to do, I'm gonna do it, and hopefully we can save this dog. It's an owner give up. I don't know if it's being aggressive with the owner. I don't know if it's being, who it's being aggressive with. To hear that we have to take somebody's dog, you just don't know how they're gonna react. You know, is it something that they're gonna give the dog up willingly? Are they gonna put up a fight? Are there gonna be a lot of emotion involved? You never know in a situation like this how someone's gonna react. Hello, animal control. Could you step out for a minute, please? Richard is the only animal control officer for all of Assumption Parish. We have to let him, you know, take the lead and just be there for, you know, when he needs us. So what, what happened then? What happened? Then people over there got a little Pomeranian. Mm -hmm. I went and knocked on the door the other day, and the Pomeranian come out, and it was barking at me mm -hmm. right at my feet. She attacked. Are they making you get rid of her, or you just want to get rid of her? They're kind of making me. The sheriff department telling us we have to do this, and they got called in. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Whether Ed thinks Susie was protecting him or just a case of one dog chasing another, the point is his dog wasn't contained, the other dog wasn't contained, they were both loose. Sometimes dogs do what dogs do. And just put your address right there, and that's going to be it. We still have no idea at this point if his dog is actually a dangerous dog or it was just circumstances that she was put in. How is she with people? Is she, is she friendly and stuff with people? We're having to enter a very small travel trailer. It's not the best situation to walk into. Not a whole lot of room in there. You're walking into that dog's territory. So just to make things easier, I asked Ed to take the leash and put it on his dog just to be able to hold her back so that we can come in through the door safely. Get back, get back. My heart's definitely racing right now. I'm prepared for whatever we're gonna see in there. Oh, it's okay. Ed did put the leash on her, and it was sad. She was obviously very afraid. Hi, Susie. Come here. Give her, give her a minute. Come here, Susie. Marcel was in the best position to do what we had to do. Come here, Susie. Come here. I saw how scared she was. I just let her know that everything was okay, that, you know, no one was here to hurt her, and no one was here to hurt her person. I had no idea how she was gonna react to me. Susie, come here. Hi, you're a good girl. Hi, come here. Within a minute, she'd let her guard down. Wow. She's so sweet. Coming out here, I was expecting a much more serious situation. It just seems like this dog got handed the wrong label. She found my trailer, she had never let me. Oh, man. She come from Alabama originally. The people next door brought her and two pit bulls, and uh, she took to me, and that was it. I just feel horrible. I feel really bad. Well, it's going to break her heart, too. I know it is. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. All it takes is you hear the word aggressive. In this case, the sheriff has ordered the dog to be removed, and that's what we have to do. It's going to kill me. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. I'm, I'm, and I'm hurting for you, I, I really am. It's gotta be done, you know. Oh, dang. Having Susie get this label put on her as an aggressive dog, she's now been taken out of her home, where she's been raised, and, and Ed takes great care of her. Pick you up. I don't want to traumatize her. What you do, Marcel, is put the leash through your hand just in case she gets away from you, that way you have her, and then just go ahead and pick her up. <laughs> we take in strays and rescue dogs from horrible situations, all with the hope of finding a new owner that loves them like Ed loves Susie. So to have to take away Ed's dog, you know, that's like, that, that gets you right there. I could see she was scared. She was really scared. She looked really unsure about what was going on. And she gave me that look, like, what are you doing? Like, where, what's going on, you know? I was pretty torn up about it. Good job. She's right here, Ed. Get her out now. I'm sorry. Close it up. Close it up. She's like my kid, you know? That's all there is to it. 
you can tell that dog like, loves him so much. They've right. been together for years. I hope they can find her a good home. I want Susie to have a good home. I'm gonna give you my cell phone number right now, okay? okay? So that you, know, you can call us if you want to see her again. As horrible as this whole situation is, if there had to be a silver lining, it would be if we were not able to step in and take Susie, she would have been euthanized. Okay. I All appreciate right. it. Before we can figure out what we're gonna do with her in the proper home, I mean, that's way down the road, we need to get to know her first. We need to get to know her true personality, her true temperament, and that's gonna take a little bit of time. She's gonna need it. Susie! Are you smiling? About a week ago, we took in a dog named Susie after her owner was forced to give her up. Good girl. Good girl. She was reported to be aggressive, but so far we haven't seen any signs of that as of yet. So we want to take some time to get to know her true personality and temperament. Come on, come on. Jethro, come on. My bomb proof blue tick hound Jethro is my go-to guy for situations like this. He has such a great outlook on life. Nothing bothers him. If a dog gets crappy with him, he's not gonna take it serious. Because of his personality and his temperament, I'm hoping that it will make Susie more comfortable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Jethro, come on. Come on, She's Susie. a little nervous. Yeah. Susie! Come on, Susie. Susie I mean, she wanna be interested, you know? Jethro was his typical dumb, silly, playful self, but, you know, Susie was still pretty withdrawn. She was still really shy. He's so friendly, like, he yeah. just wants to play, and... Yeah, some dogs mistake that yeah. sometimes. Well, it's overwhelming. He's very overwhelming, you know, so... It's just gonna take some more time, and, you know, I'm willing to be patient and just see where this is gonna go. The handle. Hi, hey, good girl. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's so bad. Yeah. Wanna say hi? She almost came over to say hello. We're gonna let Susie take the lead on this and not force the issue. You're okay, Susie. Good, there you go. There you go. There you go. And then it was for a brief moment, like she finally wanted to join in the party. Good girl, Susie. At this point, you know, I don't see any aggression in this dog at all. She's like super, super like non-confrontational, yeah. like yeah. turns he's her a, head away. We're never gonna know the true details of the scuffle between Susie and the Pomeranian, but ultimately it cost Susie a home where she was loved very much. We're gonna keep working with her and just give her time. The dog likes Susie, that's what you have to give her. Come on, baby girl. Good job. There we go. Look, she's got a little prance going on now. Someday, hopefully, we'll look for that new home and try to find someone who loved her like Ed did. Good job.